Hi, everybody. Now that you've created your Google Classroom, I wanted to show you a quick and efficient way to get content into that classroom. And so here I am on the Tech Teach Grow Home page, and um, I wanted to give some students some information on digital citizenship. So I'm going in here and I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's good for them to do a little bit of reading about what that is and maybe watch this video. So I'm going to uh, post this information to my one of my Google Classrooms, and I want to show you how I can do that with that Chrome browser extension. These are all Chrome extensions, and I have more of them um, that are sort of hidden here. And you may have that issue too, depending on how many Chrome extensions you have. I'm going to shrink my address bar, and I do that by just kind of hovering on the edge, and then I get that two-way arrow. I hold my mouse button down and I just slide to the left and it makes that smaller. And as I do that, more and more of my extensions are revealed. The one we want to talk about today is this share to classroom, uh, Google Classroom extension. And this is one that you all should have access to because we uh, have it delivered to staff and students. And so again, I want to be able to post this information to the classroom. I'm going to click share to classroom. These are the classes that I am a teacher of, and these are ones that I'm a student in. I'm going to choose test group for today as my classroom. I click on that. And now um, some information comes up and it says, do I want to make this an announcement? The drop down will give me some options. Do I want to push this out to students? Do I want to create an assignment out of this so I could post this and ask some questions and do some different things. Um, do I wanna just pose a question for the students or make an announcement? I'm gonna choose make an announcement. And so now this lists test group, that's the classroom. Um, you know, For you, it may be your name or your grade, whatever you call your classroom. Over here, it gives you the options to differentiate a little bit which students get this post. And so I only have one person in my class and so, um, you can choose to send it to, to uh, individual students or you can click this one that's all students and it will go to um, all students. Typically, we would go to all students. And then uh, I want to uh, write a little message here. Uh, watch the video and be ready to discuss in our afternoon meeting. And then it just lists, this is the resource that I'm actually posting. The Tech Teach Grow Digital Citizenship is listed right here. So I'm going to click this post button. And so it's posting. It tells me I successfully posted. You have posted to your class. And if you want to, you can view it and see what it looks like in that Google Classroom. So I'm going to do that. Click on this. And it's opening the specific Google Classroom, my test group. And you can see here is the post that I just put and it's showing up in the stream page. If it was an assignment, it would show up on the classwork page. So here it is. My message was watch the video and be ready to discuss in our afternoon meeting. Um, if students click on this, they get to the page uh, that had that resource on it. So this is just a really quick, easy way to get to uh, content and to add and load content into your classroom. Um, you can do this again as assignments or within the stream. Hopefully this helps and you can see that getting content in there can go pretty quickly. Just realize again, anywhere you're at digitally, you can use that Chrome uh, extension, the Google Classroom, post to Google Classroom extension. And so, you know, there's tons of resources out there right now. Uh, so through social media, you're seeing all sorts of distance learning resources. Um, we have digital curriculum that we have as adopted curriculum. It's another way to get those uh, things in front of students. Um, so hopefully this video helps and uh, you are successful in adding content to your classroom.